Well, school is out for the summer for many students all across Indiana, and we know for parents that could mean more time with your children, which could be good or bad. But we're here with our education expert, Ms. Jennifer Brinker. She's here to kind of talk about, I guess, some of the things parents can do to still keep their child engaged over the summer. And we know sometimes summer school is often the first thought when it comes to summer learning, but not, it's not always the case. Yeah, um, I understand that not being something that that parents or kids sometimes or teachers would be excited about, but the learning doesn't have to stop in the summer and it doesn't have to be traditional academic learning. Yeah. I think the summertime is the perfect time for some experiences that teach kids and so learning from doing. So it could be something as simple as having your child plan a picnic for the family. They have to decide what they're gonna make. They have to make the meal, plan for it, decide where they're gonna go, get all the materials together. You can plant a garden in your backyard. That's a huge learning experience. So you just have to think kind of like a teacher and keep those learning experiences moving along. Yeah, so, yeah, many ways we don't think about. We always think about traditional, like you said. What are some things uh, that parents and families can do maybe around Indianapolis to get outside of the house to learn. Oh yeah, We're, we have so many opportunities here in Indianapolis. I always say obviously the Children's Museum, <laughs> uh, the Art Museum, the zoo, things like that are great to take your kids to. And even if you are going to travel, make your child part of those plannings. Mm -hmm. um, they can go ahead and research how much it's going to cost. They can help map the trip and see how it's going to get there. All those are executive functioning skills is how we refer to that in education. And all of that is necessary just to do life well. So you can include kids in all kinds of ways. And let's say there might be some parents who might not want to break the bank, but still have their child out and about. Just keep in mind, again, learning is all around us. So hopefully summertime is a time that parents can slow down a little bit with their child sit around the kitchen table and play some games together. That's yeah. a great learning activity. It includes reasoning skills, math, all sorts of things. Um, read a book together, go on a hike. It doesn't have to cost money. It's just the idea that you're continuing to engage with your child, get them thinking. And I know kids aren't gonna like this, um, but <laughs> It's a good time to learn chores too. Hey. When we have a little bit more time, they can be doing their laundry. They can be learning to mow the grass, pull the weeds, those sorts of things. It's all gonna be a great learning experience for them. Yeah, anything to get away from that screen time a little bit. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure you know all about that being a parent. <laughs> but thanks Ms. Brinker for being here this morning. All great advice. And we'll have much more on our website at WTHR.com in case you missed anything.